grace to the glory of God the Father. Grace and mercy be with you all. We have come here today to remember before God, Mary, to give thanks for her life, to commend her to God, our merciful Redeemer and Judge, to commit her body to be buried and to comfort one another in our grief. So as we are, let us pray. God of all consolation, your son Jesus Christ was moved to tears at the grave of Lazarus, his friend. Look with compassion on your children in their loss. Give to troubled hearts the light of hope and strengthen in us the gift of faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for abiding by the COVID precautions um, in place at the moment. One of the benefits is that with a mask on, I can't see if you're singing or not. But as you have your mask on, we will sing our first hymn, All Things Bright and Beautiful. Please be seated. Barry's going to give our first tribute to Mary. Thank you. 
got into hospital was give birth to him, and that was uh, over 67 years ago. Remarkably, she never had any real health issues throughout her entire life, although I suspect she would never have let on if she had. An amazing woman. It was always my mum's uh, insistence and wishes that she never went into a nursing home. In this regard, I would like to thank Lynn and Jane, and most noticeably and Angela, who for many years became a friend, companion, and carer. It is with your love and dedication that her wishes were achieved. She often said how lucky she was. Our mum was one in a million, and I would say that. She truly was. She was never interested in the material things in life, and she was most happiest being at home. She loved her bingo, and more recently become, being housebound, she was quite partial to the odd scratch card, as we all know. We had many Christmases as a family, and always played her favorite card game in the evening, which was Newmarket. She got very excited when the pennies turned to five and 10 peas on the kings. She always called it, ooh, lovely bit of snow. Mum's life is not marked by any amazing academic or career achievements, but something more remarkable than that. It was a life of being a wonderful, devoted wife, mother, and grandparent, a life of giving, a person that was always there. Mum was a constant loving influence on our family over many decades. She was, <coughs> she was the most kind, selfish, and loving mother we could ever wish for, and I know we are all lucky to have her in our lives. She did a lot of knitting in her lifetime, and many family and friends would have had a woolen jumper or hat knitted by her. She had a particular gift with children, and all of the grandchildren, and more recently great-grandchildren, have experienced the warmth and generosity of her love. For the order of service, it was difficult to find a photo of her just on her own. It was always with the grandchildren or great-grandchildren who she loved so much. Even in her final years, she maintained her wicked sense of humor, and although housebound, she never complained. Mum passed away peacefully with her family around her. Whilst Mum has now passed away, I can still feel her love even today. And it's the power of her love that will keep her alive in all of our hearts and minds. I would like to finish with a short poem which captures my thoughts. You carried me as a child and held on to my hand. You loved and cherished me every day and taught me how to stand. Of all the painful things in life that I could ever fear, nothing is as painful as you not being here. But you taught me to be strong and how to stand. Even when you're not here, to Hold on to my hand. <laughs> I'm grateful for what you taught me, and I'm grateful for your love. And I know you're watching me over from the heavens above. Amen. Thank you very much. And now Faye is going to give a tribute. Nanny Mary, I was truly blessed to have Nanny Mary as my nan throughout my life. She really was an amazing person, always positive, always looking on the bright side. Nothing ever got her down. She would do, she would do anything for us. She had the biggest heart. Oh, God. I could always turn to my nan if I ever needed someone to talk to. If I was having a bad day, she would pick me up in an instant and make me feel like my worries had gone away. My nan really was one of a kind. She was such a strong character. She helped our families through some hard times. I'm not sure what we would have done without her. 
She was the rock of our family. Um, <laughs> my nan had a lovely married life with her Tom, our poppers. Nan would always tell our poppers off and put him in his place. <laughs> She was the boss and always had the final say. Poppers didn't mind. Nan was still his fruit petal and he fought the world of Nan. Before Poppers passed, all he wanted was that Nan was looked after and okay when he was not around. We met his wishes. Nan was well looked after by three lovely carers every day. She became good friends with them, and they were also very fond of Nan too. <sighs> Nan also got her wishes. She passed away peacefully in her own home with us all there, a couple of days before Christmas Day, a home where everyone was always welcome, full of lots of love and treasured memories. I like to think Nan passed just before Christmas so she could spend Christmas Day with her Tom. Nan, I would just like to say thank you for always being there for me. What an honour it was to have you as my Nan. You will forever hold the biggest place in my heart. Heaven has gained a very special angel. I would just like to finish with a lovely poem that I found. Of all the special gifts in life, however great or small, to have you as our Nan was the greatest gift of all. May the winds of love blow softly and whisper in your ear, we love and miss you Nan and wish that you was here. Deep in our hearts, your life is kept to love and cherish, not forget. No more tomorrows we can share, but yesterdays are always there. A silent thought, a secret tear, keeps your memory ever near, in our hearts forever. Now, each of us here will have our own memories of Mary. And as we listen to Time to Say Goodbye, we recall Barry and Faye's words and our own memories.
from Holy Scripture. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. That reading we have just heard offers us some very profound thoughts and words of truth, as there is indeed a time for everything within our lives. There is a season for everything and a time for every matter under the heavens. There is a time to be born and there will be a time to die. A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. But it also seems to suggest, at least to me, that mourning and celebrating are at polar extremes. It seems to suggest that we can only experience one of these emotions or events at any one time. And although it is true that events in our lives will happen at different times, even if separated by only a few seconds, I don't believe the same can be said of emotions. For we are complex beings, and as such are capable of and do experience a whole host of emotions at the same time. When we are sad, we can also be, believe it or not, even happy and relieved. When one is frightened, one could also be exhilarated or even peaceful. Emotions don't just exist in a bubble on their own. Indeed, today we are experiencing this paradox of emotions, for we are here with sadness to mourn Mary's passing, but we are also here to celebrate a life lived to the full, and to give thanks to God for the gift of Mary and all that made her that unique and special person. Mourning and celebrating 
two quite contrasting emotions. We're here with sadness as we say goodbye to Mary and trusting her into God's loving care. But we're here also to celebrate with joy the fact that Mary is now at peace in the heavenly kingdom. Whereas St. John wrote in the book of Revelation, there shall be no more dying or mourning or crying or pain. We're in a strange paradox. And today is a sad day, and rightly so. For Mary will be missed and is missed by all whose lives she touched. But may I suggest that through patient faith in the resurrection, that sadness can be turned into joy. For at his resurrection, Christ broke the bonds of death and opened the gates of heaven so that all who have died will not die eternally, but will rise and sit and rest with him in his eternal kingdom. This I don't believe to be sad news, but good news, news worthy of joy and rejoicing, a sure and certain promise of eternal life for all. As Christians, this is our hope and this is our belief. This is what we proclaim to be the love of God for us and for all humanity, that through Christ's death all have become heirs of his eternal kingdom. We believe this just like we believe that the Lord is our shepherd, guiding us forward. We may have questions from time to time, we may have doubts, and we may even get a little lost as we journey through life. But Christ the Good Shepherd is still there, guiding and calling us back. For such is the love of God in Christ Jesus for each and every one of us. Today, therefore, as we mourn the death of a wife, a mother, a grandmother, a daughter, a sister, a friend, a neighbour and a colleague, let us trust in the power of the resurrection and turn our tears of sadness into tears of joy. Let us remember Mary for who she was, and let us give thanks to God for the gift and pleasure of Mary's sense of humour, her loving and caring nature, her quiet but resolute determination, and for knowing her and being loved by her. So I invite you now to join with me in prayer. Let us pray. God of mercy and Lord of life, you have made us in your image to reflect your truth and light. We give you thanks for Mary, for the grace and mercy she received from you, for all that was good in her life, and for the memories we treasure today. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Father, you promised eternal life to those who believe. Remember for good this your servant Mary, as we also remember her. Bring Mary with Tom and all who rest in Christ into the fullness of your kingdom, where sins have been forgiven and death is no more. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, your mighty power brings joy out of grief and life out of death. Look in your mercy on Mary's family and friends and all who mourn her. Give them patient faith in times of darkness and strengthen them with the knowledge of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, you are tender towards your children and your mercy is over all your works. Heal any memories of hurt and failure and give us the wisdom and grace to use aright the time that is left to us here on earth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these are prayers we offer to the Father in the words which Jesus himself taught, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Would you please stand as we commend Mary to the mercy of God, our Maker and Redeemer. God, our Creator and Redeemer, by your power Christ conquered death and entered into glory. Confident of his victory and claiming his promises, we entrust Mary to your mercy. In the name of Jesus our Lord, who died and is alive and reigns with you, now and forever. Amen. Mary, go forth upon your journey from this world. In the name of God the Father Almighty who created you, in the name of Jesus Christ who suffered death for you, in the name of the Holy Spirit who strengthens you. In communion with Mary and all the blessed saints and aided by the angels and archangels and all the armies of a heavenly host, may your portion be this day in peace and your dwelling the heavenly Jerusalem. And may God give you all his comfort and his peace his light and his joy in this world and the next. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs> Don't know when, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Keep smiling through, just like you always do, till the blue skies drive the dark clouds far away so will you please say hello to the folks that i know tell them i won't be long they'll be happy to know that as you saw me go i was singing this song again don't know where don't know when but I know we'll meet again some sunny day.